Okay, so one of the things that Shopify does incredibly well is allowing you to manage your incoming inventory, manage your products, manage where everything is. So as your business grows and you start adding more things to your store, it keeps track of all that stuff for you. So I'm gonna hop over to my screen. And we're gonna go inventories. So where we are in the dashboard is if you go home and then you go to products and then go to inventory, we're going to come to this inventory dashboard here. Now let's talk about the similarities. Again, we're going to be repeating ourselves a little bit, but it's going to be very similar to the products and the orders page. You have your inventory, you have the ability to create views just like you used to before. So now it's been moved over to a save as I believe actually if I go, yes, if I go and put something in there, the save as button shows up to make it quick for us to add items in there. So I've received a order from Adidas. So I'm gonna have a, a quick save for Adidas. I'm gonna save this as a view. Uh, sorry, let me learn how to spell Adidas. I'm gonna save that as a view. Um, and now when we come into our all products, I've now received a shipment from my Adidas supplier. I'm gonna go and update my inventory values. So what Shopify lets you do is allows you to select um, all of your, um, or on this page, you can go in and see all of your SKUs. You can see your uh, incoming, and this is coming from transfers. We'll go over transfers next. Um, you'll see the ones that have com been committed already. So if you remember when we were creating a uh, order by manually, we were putting something on reserve. This is where it's going to affect it. It's gonna show you where you've already committed inventory so you can see exactly how much you have available. Um, and then it's got your availability number. Now, if we click on the um, little sliders next to the availability, we have the uh, ability to adjust that inventory. So say we have uh, five new um, items coming in. Um, I actually wanna say minus five because we're actually lost five. And then now we have the ability to add a reason for that loss. So say it was um, promotion or donation. So we donated five products, we've updated our uh, inventory. Uh, this reason is here so that later when you're looking at your reports, you can see where all of your inventory values have gone. Um, and then you can hit save. And that will instantly update your inventory across your entire organization. Um, some of the things to keep in mind is if you're running multiple locations, so say you have a couple of store locations, um, you're gonna have them up here on the right hand side. Now I only have one location set up um, on this store, but when I add a second location in here, this is gonna come up here and it's Shopify is going to keep your inventories separate based on where the products are. So this is where we're gonna get into transfers later on. We're gonna talk about how transfers go from store to store or how st uh, transfers come from suppliers. Um, and then you can see when things show up on your incoming, giving you as much information as you possibly can. Uh, one of the other things to keep in mind, export exactly the same as export has been on the other thing. I actually believe that export is probably the number one consistent object inside of Shopify that does not change depending on where you are. Everything else is contextual. It changes depending on what it is um, available. But export seems to be straightforward, easy to do, really, 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 really predictable, if you will. Um, now, when we're talking about the import, again, this is by CSV. So importing uh, quantities by CSV is gonna be much a much better experience than importing products just because there is less data to come in. You're gonna have a column with the handle and you're gonna have a column with the, um, with the inventory value that you're gonna have updated. Um, and they give you a, a CSV file um, that you can go and import it. Now there's another option he in here, which is the bulk editor. Now the bulk editor is really used if you have a manual process and you're like, we're just gonna go through and update everything manually. And the way you get to the bulk editor is if you select, select multiple uh, multiple products uh, and then you hit edit. And th what that's gonna do is it's gonna take you over to a new screen. And this new screen is the Shopify bulk editor. Now when it loads up, we really only have title and SKU, but what if we wanted to add something else in here? So if we wanted to go and edit all of the prices, if we wanted to change our cost per item, uh, maybe we wanted to go and update the country of origin, we could go and add these columns in here and then we would have the ability to go and quickly update it. Now the bulk editor, the bulk editor works like Excel. Um, you get the same kind of uh, options down below. So say I wanted to add in our cost per item 50 and I go and I drag it down, it'll go and fill it all in. When I hit save, you'll see 
there'll be little check marks that's going to come up as we go down. So as it goes and writes to the Shopify database, it's going to give you some feedback showing you that it's been updated. So now all the variants have been saved and we have now quickly updated all of our variants with the cost per item. This is a really powerful tool when you're going in to uh, edit things. Now, the bulk editor is available on all of the um, modules where you can select multiple items. So if you're under products, if you're under orders, if you're under pages, if you can select multiple things, you can use the bulk editor and modify a select number of things inside there. That is an advanced uh, user interface. Um, and we might get into it when we're using, when we're building out the store. So I invite you to go in and test it out. All right, so that is a pretty quick overview of what is in here for inventory. Uh, next, we're gonna go over to transfers and I'm going to show you how transfers go between different locations as well as incoming suppliers.